Slow reopening, there will be some adjusting, of course, to this new norm. Dylan Thomas joins us live in downtown Loveland tonight. Dylan, you talked to business owners there, and this is a start. And Karen, the past month and a half, this town has been a ghost town. But now a glimmer of hope for a community that thrives off of the arts and small business as business starts to reopen. Uh, have you had a cough? It's the new way of doing business in the world of COVID-19. Do a quick temperature check here behind sure. your ear. Quick medical checks at every business like Tommy's Barbers and Blades. Like none of us went to medical school. Or we're just entrepreneur, or business guy, and some barbers that are trying to, to make a living. Following CDC guidelines. We have social distance marking. We have plastic chairs that are wiped down. Uh, everything's six feet apart or more. We're sanitizing completely top to bottom in between every customer. And everyone wears masks. It's nice to definitely get back to work. A sentiment shared by downtown Loveland Art Galleries and even pet grooming businesses all locally owned. So it's really slowed down business. Cosmic Dog owner Jesse Clifton has also implemented rules. You have to take that time to sanitize in between the dogs coming in and the people coming in. Rules customers are appreciating. I think it's fantastic for the uh, for the downtown economy. It takes care of them and it takes care of me. As the economy takes a small step toward returning to normalcy. It's been a challenge. It's a new work environment but it's a work environment, so we'll take it you know, at this point. We can do it right. We can do it safely. Now, many of the businesses we spoke with are easing their way into reopening by having appointment only working. Also, they say that will help them make sure they are keeping their businesses to that mandate of 10 people or less. Live in Loveland, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. Still